The Ticket Machine is the official ticket broker of Spartan Nation. No matter what you need a ticket for, border to border, coast to coast, the Ticket Machine is your ticket source. So whether you need to get into the hottest concerts, the best sporting events, you want the best seats in the house, or you just want to get in the door, when you want to go to any event that requires a ticket, anywhere, border to border, coast to coast, it's always theticketmachine.com. Theticketmachine.com, 517-655-3201. Check it out today at theticketmachine.com. Um, I thought it was a big win by our football team yesterday. Pretty much I said what I said after the game. The crowd was, the crowd was outstanding. Um, excellent momentum and, you know, excitement, enthusiasm for our football team uh, from within our team. You know, you look at the film defensively, I thought um, played pretty well, controlled number four, which we felt like was obviously critical to, to winning the football game. We played well in a couple of sudden change situations. Um Picked up three turnovers, played well in the two-minute, giving up 13 points to that team. Um, was obviously, if you, if you can do that, you're going to stay in the game. So we were able to do that. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, you know, no turnovers, really. And, um, you know, we, we were able to control the clock 38 minutes to 21 minutes. So um, we had six big drives of eight-plus plays. So pass protection was solid. Obviously, Rocky played very well. Um, and uh, I thought he did a great job leading, and I thought he spread the ball around, and I thought he threw with authority. Probably had a couple shots um, that he missed barely. Um, got a couple big plays at the end of the game from uh, from uh, Jalen Naylor. Uh, some you know races, some some uh, you know quick outside perimeter plays, and we we got our third punter punting. So I thought he did okay, and um, you know cough. Coughlin was pretty good, three or four, but uh, big uh, tackle by uh, Cole Hahn on uh, on the kickoff that that was run back. But um, I guess the the thing in the whole game was I thought twelve number twelve Rocky the body played extremely well and um, brought us forward. So we go into November now um, with with opportunities ahead of us. Mark, you never know what you're going to get with a freshman. And obviously you've commented that Rocky played well and or tremendous or whatever word you want to use either day. But when you afterwards talking to the players, the special teams guys, the defensive players talked about him being in the huddle, how they fed off his energy. Not counting the on field, the handoffs and the passes, were you surprised by the ancillary, the leadership, the impact he had on your team? No, I thought we've gotten good leadership from um from our quarterbacks uh, throughout this year and last year, really. I mean, I think Ryan Lewerke does a great job with that, too. Uh, I think Rocky is, a, is an emotional guy having his first start, and I thought he brought a little extra. Um, he is like that. You know, he is a uh, dependable leader, and uh, he studies the game hard, and he prepared himself for this moment. So when the moment came, he was ready. Mark Chris Solari, um, I know Matt wasn't uh, available yesterday. I don't have a long-term prognosis with him yet. And is there anything more with Jordan um, having to leave and, and kind of on AJ's performance at right tackle? Um, not going to talk about injuries as we do, so I won't talk about any of those. I, I did think that uh, um, AJ Curry came in there and gave us some snaps at right tackle, and. Um, or at left tackle, at left tackle, I believe. And um, I thought he did okay. And this is really the first time he's been pressed into into a situation where he had a play and, you know, truly game snap. So that was good to see because he's been working at it, um, you know, for a couple of years. He's a big, very big athletic guy that didn't ever play a down of offense in high school. But, uh, you know, he's a very big athletic guy that, um, you know, has learned the position over the past two years, really. And uh, it was good to see him move in do something positive. Mark, Matt Charbonneau, uh, Detroit News. Um, going back to Rocky and, and Brian, what was what was Brian's role with him this week and in the game? How supportive was he? And how important can that be moving forward, especially with the chemistry that those guys continue to, to work together as, as this plays out? Yeah, you know, um, our quarterback room, Brad Salem, does an outstanding job with those guys. And uh, it's a tight room. And they're all in it together. I mean, there's no there's no um, animosity or things like that going on in that room. I thought Brian did a great job all week long. Um, uh, you know, first of all, taking snaps and doing the things he could do, and then also um, supporting.
supporting supporting Rocky. And uh, you know, I'm in the quarterback meeting rooms a lot, and uh, you know, they, you know, it's a it's a give and take type of relationship in there with all those guys. So very very positive. I'm on uh, LJ's second field game back. Um, you know, he got a decent number of carries. Would you would you see out of him, and do you see any improvement from uh, the previous week against uh, Michigan? Uh, you know, I thought that he played a little bit better. Um, there's probably a little bit more area for him to run. He got 15 carries. Um, you know, we still got to break out, you know, still has to be able to make that play where we break out. But, um, you know, he's coming back. You know, it's like I said, he's five weeks, six week layoff. You know, that's a long time for a running back. And it's extremely difficult, I think, to get in shape um, during the week preparing for your next game. So, you know, your game reps are like your summer reps. So I look at it as he's had, you know, two scrimmages. Um, two full game, you know, he's full game, but they're, they're more like, you know, he practices during the week than he has the weekend. So he's coming back into into, into form, and I expect to see him uh, flashing very, very soon. Uh, Mark Matt again from MLS. Uh, Cody White obviously was on the dress list um, you know, after the game. You said you, you you hope he gets back this week, but uh, for him to go out there in uniform and, and be in warm ups and stay in uniform on the sideline is what's his um, just eagerness to get back out there? Because he looks like a pretty animated guy out there with you know, his teammates and, and getting everybody uh, together. Oh yeah, you're talking about Lewerke? I'm sorry, Cody White. Cody White. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that, um, again, I don't really want to talk about injuries, but I think he's close. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean that. I, I meant, that, you know, you said after the game that you, know, you thought he might be back, but I just meant, like, enthusiasm. You know, he's a guy who wasn't even on the dress list, but he's out there in uniform, and he's yeah. around with his guys and kind of hyping people up. But it seems like, you know, what's his enthusiasm level just to get back? Excellent. Really yeah, back. excellent. He wants to get back. You know, I mean, he's he's ready to start participating. It's more, more or less when the doctors okay him. Uh, he's been uh, he's been able to run and stay in condition um, throughout. Really, after after it settled down, after the, the healing settled down a little bit, so he's been um, so once they're able to to say go, he's he's able to do that. So we're just waiting on that, and uh, they'll make that decision, and then we'll go from there. But I think emotionally, he's ready to play. You know, he runs routes and does things like that. He just doesn't catch the ball. You know, so that'll happen very soon. Hey, Mark, Jim Comperoni, SpartanMag.com. Can you talk about the progress that Matt Dotson makes at uh, tight end and how he and Lombardi seemed to hook up pretty good yesterday? Yeah, Matt, uh, I thought Dotson played very well yesterday, had some big, big catches in the game, and uh, that's the guy we recruited to do those type of things. And, uh, you know, so it was great seeing him get those opportunities and uh, and uh, catch the football and run, run his routes accordingly because he looked like a – Looked like a great player out there uh, doing it, and uh, great speed and athletic ability. Mark, can you talk about the um, the experience level and how it how it how it served your defensive backs yesterday, especially Kari Willis and Justin Lane, the way they were able to pass off a couple things on, a, on one particular key third down stop. Yeah, they did a great job. I thought Kai Willis played really, really well. Um, was really challenged playing off of off of uh, Rondell Moore, number four, you know, in press coverage, and I thought he did a great job, uh, especially on the fourth and three or fourth and four play. Uh, but uh, he communicated very well. We passed off some things, as you said. Um, you know, Justin did a nice job as well. Four big pass breakups, I think he had. And uh, I thought we played well in the secondary. You know, they hit a couple of tight end over routes, but – you know, they didn't really hit us down deep. They hit the one one vertical route late in the game, which, you know, where they were going to make the play but um, to the post. But uh, I thought we played pretty well back there. So, but Kari and uh, Kari Willis played excellent and press, and I thought Justin Lane had an outstanding day as well. Uh, I mean, you guys, uh, he was able to press and, and sit out. Is, is he pretty close, do you think? Is, I know you mentioned earlier in the week he was back practicing. Do you think? Will be ready, and how much do you juggle oh, yeah. what you want to do with long term? No, he's been cleared to play. Um, he could have played yesterday. Um, that was our decision to hold him out to hold a potential red shirt. But you know, he was he was in the locker room at halftime, and um, he was capable of playing. He practiced all week, so he'll he'll be available this next weekend. Um, 
you know, probably we will probably try and hold him one of these games, but maybe, maybe not. It just depends on how it all shakes out. But um, but he'll be playing this week. Talk about how he would fit into the rotation. It would be like a boundary guy, or would that potentially? Who does that give rest to? You? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think, I think, Jim, I think the thing that you have to look at as much like you look at LJ, you know, he's he's not had the summer camp. So, you know, he has to play himself, himself back into shape. And he's done that in practice this past week. He got reps with the ones and that kind of stuff this past week. So he's been practicing for a week, but I think it's it's different. You can't, I don't think you can ask him to go out there and play 60 plays, 70 plays. Um, but uh, I don't think he can, but we're going to find out more as we go. Um, we'll, we'll recognize, we'll probably recognize his, his, um, conditioning level here as we get into actual game situations, but, but he's ready to play and, um, it'll be exciting to watch him. So we'll see how it all shakes out. I'm sure everybody, everybody's going to, it'll be a group, group effort here, um, until he's in shape. Mark, I'm guessing, uh, based on the bounce back game that you guys had, you had, must have had uh, really good, uh, leadership, concerted, uh, concerted effort in the leadership department across the whole team, I'm guessing, on Saturday. Did you see any new leaders emerge? And uh, where, where, where did the leadership come from? Uh, the captains, but is there anything else you know last week? Yeah, that's tough to say because, you know, I'm not on the field at the time, but I just thought our energy was good. Our energy was really good. Our focus was really good. Our attention to detail was very good. And, um, you know, guys had to rise up a little bit, and I think we did that. And uh, across the board, you know, as a football team, we did that. And, uh, you know, people from our leadership group <clears throat> sure had a big part in that, but I think there's all kinds of different elements of leadership across the board on our football team, and whether it's freshmen, leading freshmen, or whatever it is. But, you know, we came to play, and um, it, was a po- it was positive. And, you know, it was a tight game. So, you know, we had to play through the fourth quarter, and you really – Scored with about a minute, minute and a half to go to put us up by ten. So, very competitive game. Or kind of, you, you mentioned that yesterday, and, and you kind of went into a, a little bit of a thing where you said we enlarged our territory. Can you sound on that a little bit? Well, I think that as you go into November, you know, if we would have fell back to four and four, we get a little bit less. Uh, um, you know, what's the word? I forget. Really, what's the word I want to use here? You, you know, there's not as you're not playing for as much as you move forward. You're playing to try and, okay, you're a little bit off the charts a little bit. You know, at five and three, you know, who knows what could happen. You know, we've got a possibility of winning up to ten games, including a bowl game or beyond. I don't know. But there's crazy things. I'll tell you, you know, just watching football last night in a good mood, matter of fact. Um, you know, you saw so many different teams now that are five and three or six and two and, have a tough schedule ahead of them. So there's a lot of things that can happen down the road, and we're in a situation in November now where we can play our ways, our place to, to something special. And and so the next one up is, is Maryland, so we have to focus on that one, one, one at a time. But but I thought that, you know, we, we made ourselves a little bit more um, – I'm not sure what word I want to use, but we made ourselves a little bit more – um, somewhat important. How's that go? You know, we just I, I just thought we took a step forward, made people notice because I, I think most people thought Purdue was going to come in here and play play us out. So, if you looked at nationally based on what they were doing, so it was a good good moment for everybody. Things happen and people take notice. With authority, can you expand on that a little bit? This, this phone is the worst phone maybe in America. So what did you say, Jim? Of the way that uh, Aki Lombardi threw his authority. Yeah, I thought he threw, I thought he, threw with, he had good velocity on the ball. I thought he made quick decisions for the most part. <clears throat> when he had to pull it down, he ran with the 30. And um, had a couple very slight overthrows. It could have been huge plays for him, for us. But um, I thought he played with uh, confidence, and I think that's what you have to do. And that's a very tenuous thing, confidence. I mean, it's you know, you really either just, when you see it, you you recognize it. He played with confidence and played aggressively, and I think that's what was needed. 
Were you surprised the way Justin Lane was able to get behind the defender and get deep twice? You've seen him in practice, but was, did he show another little extra gear there? What did you think about that? Uh, you know, Justin runs extremely well, and um, so we wanted to take a shot. It really didn't matter who we were taking the shot to. It went to him. And, uh, it's not like we put him in there just to do it, but, I mean, he sort of was – repping in there you know, and moving in and out of the lineup um, and, and run in and, throw, and pass plays, I believe. So um, it was just a, an extra guy based on our guys that are all down.